Welcome to the Paul Gubbins Show from the basement. <laughs> are we on now? We are on now. You, you listeners out there, specifically anybody with the IP address, 6673158862, your server is actually unavailable. It's disconnecting. Um, are we actually recording? Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Are we Looks like we're going. Can can you rap? Can you get this thing going here? Can you? Okay. Welcome <laughs> for the third time. For the third time to the Paul Gubbin Show from the basement. We welcome specifically IP address six six seven three one five eight six two. Welcome to you. Welcome to you. We're happy to have you here. I have no idea who you could be. You might be my brother. I called my brother earlier today and told him about the show. <laughs> We have with us in the studio two very special guests. As in, uh, they had their own classrooms. <laughs> <laughs> we have with us Scott Bishop. Hello. And, uh, St- Steve our old, our old favorite, Steve Stefalo. Hello, I'm pleased to be in the studio, Paul. How are we gonna dazzle our listening audience this evening? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna let this song play though while we talk. Ooh, we lost the guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what's so, the point? What's the point now? Do we have any listeners? No, we have right no now? listeners now. <laughs> we can pretty much do anything. Right now. <laughs> well, we're still recording for our posterity. <laughs> So, um, this segment of the show is is just for you, you uh, downloaders. Um, so, uh, we've got something really special cooked up for you. And we, we'll we don't know what, what that is, is yet. But <laughs> we don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I will say it's nicer to be on this side of the line because I've noticed that uh, Paul tends to make his... Uh, his uh, the people he calls out to work a lot. <laughs> uh, okay. This is pretty much like the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> All right, so, uh... Can, can we hear those? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> what we don't have tonight, what I forgot to bring downstairs with us, is the telephone. <laughs> Would you like me to run upstairs and go grab the telephone, Paul? And also, there's a list of phone numbers. <laughs> with okay, it. where is it located? Um, that is a good question. <laughs> we, we've really got a winning program tonight. <laughs> okay, um, while well, Steve is going up to get the... The um, phone. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah. Let's. uh, We're gonna. Scott and I are gonna chat a little bit. Okay. So. Um, So run along now. Do you know where? Maybe on the. Can you clue me in? On the (laughs) kitchen table or um, in the other place. Okay, I'll be right back. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Hello, Scott. How you doing, Paul? It's nice to be here. Um. We're here in the studio tonight, Ball Gubbins in the Basement show. We have with us Scott Bishop, as I mentioned earlier. For those of you who may just be tuning in for the first time tonight ever, Ball Gubbins from the Basement show is a, is a, is a um, what do you call it? It's a semi-daily show. I, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost regular. Almost a regular show. Uh, different times. We, we've started live streaming as of... Uh, we start taking fiber. Lots of fiber. A lot of fiber. We started live streaming as of, as of uh, yesterday. And, um, and we're, we're doing it again tonight. If anybody wants to pop in on us, uh, you will not hear this invitation. Um... <laughs> But it's just, uh, it's a show. It was uh, the brainchild of me, Paul Gubbins. And uh, I thought of having a radio show <laughs> on the internet. And, and so then it, it came into fruition, as they say, in the spiritual world. 
So a little bit about our, our new guest, Scott Bishop. We spoke to him on our show before. Um, he's, a, he's a graphic designer. Is that what you call it? I, it's, it's something like that. I, I, I think it's more a uh, uh, production, production worker. Production worker with a graphic design emphasis. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get to sit on my butt all day. Maybe that's one of the, one of the perks. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, I am a, father, and what other sort of definitions can did I? Did you add? just say I am father? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what the burning bush said to Moses? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Yeah. I I've been known to tear down garages. <laughs> Randomly, <laughs> known to speak with my inflections. <laughs> to learn more about Scott Bishop, visit http: colon. Well, what what does that stand for? Um. Appetizer paper. Um. I don't know what that stands for. But you can visit it at rockmessiah.com on the, the Blast Wiki site portion called Coffee House Culture. There is a um, page, Scott Bishop, that if you're clever, you can look around and you can find. My mic's kind of low. I need to maybe heat it up. Heat up my mic there. <laughs> hey, hello. Um, <laughs> where, where you can learn about why I speak with Paul's inflection. Yes. But, but I, I do not write with Paul's inflection. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have with us also Steve Cefalo, who's always with us. Hello. Um, Hello, Steve from hey. Cincinnati. Yes. Um, I'm pleased to be here in the studio again this evening in the basement um, on the Paul Govan Show in the basement. Steve is a um, professor at the University of Cincinnati That's in true. St. Louis, in Cincinnati, and um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's a professor of art. Um, he's, he's quite an accomplished realist artist. You can see his, uh, his, his uh, uh. <laughs> you can, <laughs> I, need to, I need to, uh begin speaking correctly you can see his works many of them at at steven com. that's steven with a ph in the middle and cefalo with a efa <laughs> c-e-f-a-l-o wait c-e-f-a-l-o yes that's how it's cefalo <laughs> i'm not a professor of uh spelling last names um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We don't have the little uh, the little drum. I know. Thing well, the, the keyboard ran out of batteries. <laughs> what we do have tonight is this. Welcome. <laughs> the mood just changed. I think we we badly need a, a, a uh, to call somebody. Okay. <laughs> well, before we call somebody, we're going to have a song. Um, we'll uh, pick a song out here tonight. We're going to be featuring songs that were recorded in January, February, March, April, May, May seventeenth. 2004 by the original I, I don't know if it's the original or not by a various version it by the original rock and roll patrol the original rock and roll patrol i will say that one more time by the original it's not actually the original but a very close <laughs> incarnation to the original we're going to be featuring songs by them here's one sung by a former member of the rock and roll patrol who would probably rather not his name be mentioned on the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My love's a flower. I'm just so weak. No, sir. 
several things she said they don't Now we're back. <laughs> Give him answers. <laughs> hey, wait. Okay. Um, we just tried. We attempted to call uh, Chris Dickens, and um, he was in the middle of taking a <laughs> test. Do you specify what kind of, a what test? Kind of test? Uh, it might have been like a medical test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet it was. Well, what, you think so? Like, well, um, is he doing a study? He's I don't know. Well, they're always doing things like that. Okay. Okay, we've got everybody a quiet. Hello? <laughs> Paul Devins. Hello? Hey. Yes. Hey. hey. We are we are currently working out. Good. <laughs> if we have a caller or not. <laughs> what the Hey. Hold on just a second. Wait a second. Just be just hold on. <laughs> Who's our caller? Our caller that just called in is... Where, where's my deal here? Is... Caller, are you with us? Hello. Caller? Yes. Can you hear caller, me? Caller, are you with us? Hello. I'm here. Um, I'm here. What? Caller? Yes. Oh, hello. Okay. Hey, Kyle? No. Is it no, it's Heath. Who is it? Heath? I, it I, is Heath. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he had me going for a minute. Uh, uh, well, you know. Okay. I try. Okay, okay. We okay. Now we got everybody's talking to Heath. Hello, Heath. Hello, Heath. Hey guys, <laughs> we miss you in the studio. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. I miss talking like this with you, Heath. <laughs> it's uh, I I've got you on the computer right now. And I'm coming through. I can hear. I, I don't think there's much delay tonight. So you're the you're our listener tonight. <laughs> oh, am I the one? <laughs> um, you're the one at. Okay, for all you hackers out there, there is a unprotected computer that I'm aware of at IP address six six seven three one five eight. Six two. Is that mine? <laughs> That's your IP address. Oh, great! Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and like, uh, uh, you know, I, you're the one that has to fix the computer, Paul. <laughs> and IP address twelve two twenty forty eight thirty five is now hacking into your computer. <laughs> oh. I can see the cross streams. <laughs> Is that your computer? No, it's, uh, I think it's my father's. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Govan. Come hey, on, this is, we can talk. You can talk to my father from right here on the air. Yeah. Hello, oh, Paul. Okay, there is a delay. I, I'm hearing myself say hello, hello, I'm here. 
Uh, could caller, could you please um, turn down your radio? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'll let Julie listen to the to what's going on in the past, and we'll talk about what's going on in the present. <laughs> so what? Uh, I just couldn't resist to uh, to be on not just the first time, but also the second. Okay, now let's uh, let's talk about this for a minute, Heath. You were I mean, sitting at home, right? First live streaming. Yes. I know you had other shows. Okay, back to what I was saying. Yeah. You were sitting at home, you were bored, and you thought, I'm going to check out www.rockmessiah.com, right? That's right. And you clicked on the radio, and you, lo and behold, live show. <laughs> well, actually, uh, it was I, I was on a little bit before you guys came on, so I was hearing our show yesterday, so I was being a little bit narcissistic, because <laughs> the whole reason I really clicked on was to see what I sounded like on the radio. <laughs> but now I get to hear it twice. It's so so we broke into the old show. You heard that when we broke into it. Yeah, you did. Were you excited yeah. when you when were you, you excited? Heard his... Yeah, I mean that's pretty exciting. That's a rare occurrence that you. Well, were... actually, yeah, actually, I thought, what the hell's going on? But then I figured it out, and I was excited. After I figured it out. So, because so, I thought actually there might have been another show that you had recorded in the past that was breaking in, but then I. But you didn't I, call on that show. No. That, well, that's no, how I you know, know it's this show. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, <laughs> whenever you first broke in tonight, uh, <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Okay, hi. Wow. <laughs> so how could you tell okay, how could you tell that this was actually live instead of us just a recording of us saying hello we're live? <laughs> like uh, uh, did the quality <laughs> change? No, I figured it out because you said that this was the second live streaming and then I was like, Oh, so they really are on and then I said, Oh well I need to call. So here I am. Hi. So, here we are. <laughs> um, and my father. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kevin. You Hi, are Mr. Kevin. It's been a while. Loyal listener. <laughs> Is it getting better, Paul's dad? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are great. You guys are doing great. I, I'm trying to realize that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to be the worst co host, so that's cool. <laughs> that's your what? You, you're trying to realize that you're what? That I'll probably end up getting voted the worst co-host. No, no, you were good. You were good. Oh, yeah. You were you were third or fourth as <laughs> far as they go. I wanted to be best at something though, best at being the worst. But that's okay. No, you somebody else can suck worse than me if they want. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's working on it. <laughs> hey, Scott Bishop, we talked to you last night on the yeah. On the radio. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys switched places. <laughs> who's who's on top and who's on bottom now? Look at you, check it out. I mean, it's it's like whoa, deja vu, except for reverse. Well, I think I, as I tried to mention, as we got our first few false starts this evening, I, I was going to say uh, being a guest host is a lot nicer than being a callee. I did hear you say that once. Okay, well, I think I only said it once, so it must have been the, the third the third start. Okay. But um, I, I would wonder, now that you're in the other position, how does it feel? Does it feel, are we, are we giving you enough... Uh, you know, questions well, to go you know, off. You're not razzing me enough. We're, you guys aren't razzing me as much as we razzed you last night. So, so let's so let's get let's, let's uh, get razzing. Get this moving. <laughs> What's your question for us? Oh yeah, Steve, asking me what my question is, I, and I did call you, so I should have. Well, uh, oh, I know what my question was. You, Paul, put a song on from uh, May seventeenth, two thousand four, and I was wondering who the hell is that drummer. <laughs> that, that drummer was Chris Dickens. All right, well... Uh, the legendary Chris Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something negative to say about Chris Dickens and his no drumming? Way, man. I don't no think way. anything negative <laughs> needs to be said about Chris Dickens. <laughs> I think, it says I think, itself. <laughs> I think Chris, Chris is always... He's already uh, feeling awkward about me anyway, so I'll just... Uh, 
I was just wondering who the driver. I, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was very impressed. And uh, impressed in what sense? Like, uh, well, because now I'm in that position, and I wanted to make sure I was going to do as good of a job. By the way, I never lie. <laughs> We'll just, so we'll would just, you say his drumming was good? It was great, yeah. Uh, would you say it was um, clean and precise? <laughs> well, it's, see, what I was trying to do was measure it from, like, I didn't know exactly when Chris started before May 17th, but it kind of sounded like he may have started that day. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad for his first day, right? Here's a here listen to this. This music means that it was the first day he was drumming. Can you hear it, Heath? Heath? Is that the first day I was doing it? No, this is still Chris. Oh, okay. Now play mine. Well I gotta I, I don't have it handy. <laughs> so Heath, uh, you know the the rock and roll patrol members shift around so much. I you're currently drumming? I'm currently drumming, yeah. And you were playing bass, I think. Was is that is that? Am I correct? Oh, no, no, no. That's uh, that's Justin Element. Justin, yeah. Okay. Who Justin. who has who doesn't is not even doesn't even not even know about the radio show at this point. I don't think it's I. Justin, Justin's a, an original member, isn't he? Justin is in. Uh, actually, no, he's not an original member. There are. I am the only original member. <laughs> I am that I am in the Rock and Roll Patrol. So, okay, have you have you given us a timeline of the Rock and Roll Patrol yet? Okay. No. We'll cut the music out. I gotta get serious about this. I I, I regret having asked that question. <laughs> Let me check uh, creation dates on some of these files. <laughs> I'm sorry, listener audience. I okay. Paul, can I be a member of the Rock and Roll Patrol someday? Someday. <laughs> Sunday. Do you know how to play drums? <laughs> no, so I'd be perfect, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> that, that's that's uh, the first qualification, actually. You know, I, I used to be able to not play the drums. Is that right? <laughs> I used to have a uh, a black Apollo small drum set. It's a lot like the one that I've got now. Oh yeah, I, I sold it back. I, I probably should have kept it, but um, but I could not play it at all. You weren't bad. You, you were were bad. We were in a band well, for it, one day. We're, no, I don't. I wait. I might have a vague memory. <laughs> Me, you, N- Natalie, Luttrell. Oh, which I, <laughs> we just kind of stood her and threw our hands <laughs> in the air. Because uh. <laughs> I, I, I dated Natalie. Well, yeah, I did for a while. You know, you dated school. every girl. I think I have. <laughs> and I dated none of them. Well, I to can't my credit, say, I was really confused the entire time. To my time. credit, what was that? To my credit. <laughs> Well, that's because uh, I, you know, I couldn't. I was just, I was a confused mess for most of the dating experience. How old are you, Scott? <laughs> I am twenty-seven. Okay. Oh. Is that twenty with an N in it, or just twenty? <laughs> <laughs> I have an, uh, I have a degree in English. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really, you know, yes, I, <laughs> I always wondered about people that had degrees in English that. Uh, well, my my degree live in America. <laughs> well, mine was in a, a create. It had an emphasis on creative writing, so I never. Okay. Actually, yeah. I did study grammatical structure, but I, this is what was so weird about it was that. It was for education majors, and all, all the education ma- majors kept on asking how they could get out of doing the work. So we never really learned any sort of grammatical structure. I was Great. there to do it. And thus the next generation. Well, be just like me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that Kentucky is actually not even allowing the teachers to teach. Grammatical. We know standardized English is only about 100 years old. I mean, it's not really... Uh, and it is changing <laughs> daily. Ebonic. And that's what it's supposed to do, really. Well, that's I mean, that's cool just how it I goes. Mean, you know, <laughs> Bush is allowing all these Spanish people to uh, infiltrate our country. So. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> he's a, he's a, Bush is allowing all these Spanish people to talk Spanish, Mexican. <laughs> Uh, well, we, uh, thank you for calling on our <laughs> intelligentsia <laughs> caller line. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. So anyways, so I have, did uh, date a lot of girls that... But only for a very short period of time before they realized that I really had no idea what was going on. So, so there were girls that were in your class that were asking you to do their work for them? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, this is the Paul Gubbins just, who's just tuning in. We were just discussing... Uh, <gasps> oh. Oh, never mind. I thought we had a new tuner, but it's not. It's an old one. <laughs> um, I think that he has... Uh, that's who was on before, and I think that he has now closed his connection. Oh, well, it probably just happened. Well, thanks a lot for supporting the show. Well, no, I am. I'm on here. I'm listening to myself talk, but the thing is that... Well, it's still... I, it's motivation. I have dial-up. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that love sucks. <laughs> but I live in Yankee Town, so what do, do you, you live in Yankee Town? I live in Yankee. Wow, Town. where he exactly lives, is I was Yankee, Yankee Town? Town uh, like an hour ago. He lives next door to where Justin Brown's parents. Oh live. yeah. Well, I'm practically next door to Justin Brown's. Hey, parents. do you know the Yankee Town water tower? I do. That okay? My grandparents it's where he gets live. His water. <laughs> <laughs> my grandparents live right across the street from that, and they've lived there since I was a little kid. My grandfather just had his ninetieth birthday today, and I was is over it, there today. There, did you have his ninetieth? Is yeah. there? Is the house? Does it need paint? Yes, it's a white house with a like a gray front porch with uh, it's it's got a kind of white columns. It's like two stories tall. It's not two stories, no. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's uh, it's got oh, a wait. like a On gravel- the other side of the highway. Okay. Yeah, it's a, right across the street from the Yankee Town Water Tower. And it's got a gravel driveway. Who, who am town. I talking to right now? Is it Steve? Water Tower. Hello. <laughs> Is it Scott or Steve? <laughs> God, uh, it was Steve. That was me. So, Steve, you were the one that was in Yankee Town today? Yes. It's a pleasant place to be. Yeah, it's on the other side of the highway from... From the, from the Yankee Town school, so yeah, it's not on that side; it's on the other side. But it's like you know, you can throw a rock at the Yankee Town water tower from oh. the from my grandparents' house. What's wrong, Paul? My grandparents recently put a yard barn within the past year. In hey, the um, what's that? <laughs> uh, well, they have a okay. There's a trailer out in the backyard, like a white trailer. And there's a, eh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, time for the That's host okay. to break in. Um, peeps, I just Hello. realized that I got Brandon Owens' phone number today, but I don't know where I put it. Mm. Okay. We could have uh, called Brandon Owens. <laughs> I can find Brandon's number. Where? In um, our phone and address book. Are you sure it's the right one? He wrote me down a brand new one. I mean, it might have been just like an old one, but he wrote it down brand new on a piece of paper. I don't know. He said to me, he said, uh, this is what Brandon Owen said to me, time for a joke. (laughs) Joke time. I I can do it for you. How about that? Hey! Oh. <laughs> Brandon Owen said to me, he said, well, I said, give me your phone number. He said, why don't I just call you, and then it'll be on your phone. And I, he said, don't you have caller ID? I said, no. I don't have caller id. I've got caller ego. <laughs> oh! Oh! Like, Come on, on Heath. <laughs> but <Ba-doom>. um, <laughs> Are you sure there's not a delay? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay, maybe it's time. Come on, ask me some questions. Oh, we had a new listener, and they listened for <laughs> for um, two minutes, and then they uh, for a hundred hundred and sixteen seconds, <laughs> and then they they cut out. Who could that have been? Hmm. Are we still connected out there, Julie? Do you think we've had a listener yet that doesn't know us? I don't know. We if you're have. a listener and you don't know us personally, then we'd like to hear from you. <laughs> That'd be very interesting. So drop an email. Uh, or, no, don't drop an email because I mean, don't. 
I mean, you can, but I won't be able to check it because I have yet to set myself up down here where I can check my email. Well, give us a call then at 812-423-9364. Now for our German listeners, that's 8124 What is my number? <laughs> Let's skip that. Nix. Nix. Das. <laughs> Um, eins, nein. <laughs> For our German <laughs> listeners, <laughs> the number is acht, eins, zwei, vier, zwei, drei, neun, drei, sechs, vier. Danke. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know German? <laughs> German, Deutsch. Ist meine Muttersprache. <laughs> ja. Es ist nicht meine Muttersprache. Aber wann ich im Gymnasium war. Gymnasium? Hochschule. Hochschule? Hochschule. <laughs> Hoch. Hey, don't, don't say that too close to your microphone. <laughs> ich habe Deutsch gelernt. Mit Herr, Herr Dunlap. In Gazel High School. <laughs> <laughs> so is that how they say high school over there in Germany? Yes, they say gymnasium. Gymnasium. Ad nauseum. <laughs> and I have I have relatives in, in in the old place in Berlin. Here's a little shout out to the Gubbinses in Berlin. Hello. Welcome to the Ball Gubbins Radio Show. <laughs> I was born in Germany. I know. You know? Yeah. Well, Why don't you get your dual citizenship? Why do you choose America over Germany? Um, by Obviously, by default. <laughs> <laughs> like every other decision in your life. <laughs> We're just chuckling over our coffee here at the Paul Gummins show in the basement. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing, the coffee. Yeah. I don't have the coffee cup. Okay, we're gonna um, in the studio. What date? Hey, Heath, what date was that that I was playing music from? Do you remember? May seventeenth, mm-hmm. two thousand four. That date isn't on here. That's okay. Okay, I found it. May May seventeenth, or was it March? You said May. <clears throat> um, I'd said the wrong date then. Okay. Maybe you meant March. I don't know, you started counting out months, so you were January, February, March, May, June. <laughs> you skipped a couple of months, so maybe you meant March. Uh, okay, um... Hello. You guys need to keep it rolling while I'm... All right. Okay, we so are so rolling. where Yankee Town is just east of, of Alcoa? Well, yeah. it's right by Alcoa, but I don't know about, um, uh, you know... Northeast, south, and west. <laughs> well, the sun rises in the east and sets okay. in the west, and then the north is kind of it's it's right above east and west, mm-hmm. and There's south a star is there. I understand. Uh, yeah, yeah. it's apparently it's bright too, okay. and it is in the north. <laughs> well, the north I, th- star. I think it might be called Polaris. <laughs> Zebulon Dwagzino. For our German listener. <laughs> Yavol. So we are doing a um, a survey this hour of the show, and the survey is: um, Bing. <laughs> Are Germans idiots like people from Kentucky? <laughs> and so, Kentucky uh, and so what, what's, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so I what's your opinion? Have a story about Dutch people. I do have one story that is pretty interesting for uh, anybody that might happen to know anything about Catholicism. So, okay. Dutch people? I guess there's, a, there's a lot of Dutch that uh, lived in uh, Fort Branch, Indiana. Uh, the Emgees, which is where Emgee meat packing plant was for a long time. And apparently, they had, you know how people have the gnomes? in their front uh, yeah. thing or whatever. Yes. Well, uh, these people had, these Dutch people had uh, statues of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And this guy that I work with, 
had apparently gone over to their house and asked them about, you know, do you like the Disney shows or whatever? And they didn't know what he was talking about. The what shows? Disney. Oh, okay. Disney, you know, for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and they didn't know what he was talking about when he asked them, you know, do you like that because of the statuettes and everything. And he said, well, what do you have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs here for? And they're like, that's not Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's, you know, Mary and the Twelve Apostles. <laughs> and they, he said, well, there's so- only seven. What happened to the other five? And they said, well, we use the metric system. Oh, I see. Okay, there you, and oh. there you go. Oh, man, I thought this was a historical fact. <laughs> I'm so no, disappointed. No, no. Apparently, that is, but this guy that I work with, he swears that that's how dumb they are. <laughs> You're Dutch, aren't you, Man, Paul? the Dutch founded New York City. Some of the greatest <laughs> painters were Dutch. Rembrandt. Vermeer. Uh, Rubens? Rubens, yeah. Rosenfeld, Van Rosen, <laughs> uh, Keep going Van Dyke. On 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 because I want to record this show and take it to the guy I work with because I can't stand it anyway. And Van Dyke. It's great to have him, you know, too strong. Bruegel. Okay, that music means that we're running long in this segment. We're coming on a hard break. We've got a. So do we do we actually stop the show in a hard break? But don't ask those kind of questions. Hey, I thought you'd give me all breaking questions. Southwick. Dave Southwick? Yeah. Um, oh, we came back unprepared <laughs> again. Um, <laughs> please excuse us. I was just saying, <laughs> please excuse us. Please. Maybe we should try to do some three part harmony. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> was I in there? You gotta give me some time. Thank you you very much. Okay, um, we are now going to attempt to call David Southwick. David Southwick lives in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Well, no, he doesn't. That's a lie. He lives in New York City. Um, He... He happens to be an art handler, I believe. Um, he was a fellow student of mine at School of Visual Arts in New York City. 
and in um, Savannah, Georgia. We're old buddies. Dave is tall. He trips over things. And um, he's a heck of a guy. Um, we were unable to get a hold of him last night. Uh, but Dave is an extremely interesting dude. So uh, I'm really hoping that we get a hold of him tonight. Because uh, uh, he's always... He's always doing something One interesting. Um, so he's an art handler and... Okay, yeah. we're, we're ringing him now. I have a funny Dave story. I'll, I'll wait till... And you said he was tall. He is tall. Yes. And clumsy. <laughs> Hello? Dave! Hello, Dave. Hey, Welcome hello, to the program. Dave. This is Steve Cefalo. How's it going? I thought it might be you again. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Paul Gubbins show in the basement. Uh, streaming live on the world wide web. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope you don't expect me to entertain anyone. <laughs> What's that? I hope you don't expect me to be entertaining. No, well, there's no, there are no, there's no, pre there's listeners, nothing, there's nothing actually. entertaining about this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there's actually, are there any listeners right now? Oh, let me check the listener log. Hi, Dave. This is Amy. Hey, Amy, how's it going? Good. How are you? It's been a long time Good. since I've spoken to you. This is basically a show where we call friends and catch up on old times. Well, that's what it's been. Ed, my father listens to it on the internet. Right. <laughs> And maybe Chris Dickens. <laughs> well, we had one other one, but it turned out to be Heath Dill. Are we calling it an OT? An OT? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a good time to have called you? Um, yeah, I'm on the train though, so I don't get that clear oh. of uh, reception. What train are you on? I'm coming back from Philly to New York. Oh, you are. So you're on the Metro North? Yep. No, he's on. Uh, 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 New Jersey Transit. Oh. Hey, why don't you two put the microphone in between you over there? Okay, yeah. Well, because it's probably not even on. Um, are people looking at you like you're crazy? <laughs> no. Hey, no? Could, can you, um, is there somebody that looks crazy? friendly <laughs> on the train nearby well, that you could let them use your phone and talk to us? <laughs> Do you want someone ugly? Friendly. <laughs> friendly, oh, okay. Or a nice <laughs> lady you might want to speak to? <laughs> um... So, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of people who are asleep. <laughs> Could you put the phone up? Are they to listening to our show? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right. Dave, so uh hear somebody snoring? <laughs> sure. It'd be great. Okay, hold on. Hold I was trying to put. I was putting my ear up to the microphone, trying to hear the person. <laughs> no. I don't know. Did you hear anything? No. no. Hey, hey, Dave. I, so I had to run back. <laughs> so, are you working as an art handler now? Is that true? Um, what do you, what do you sort do? of. I used to. I get installation. Yep. Um. So, uh, do you have any interesting stories um, concerning installing art? <laughs> As like, you would imagine, no. <laughs> um, so, uh, like, uh, so, so, do you? You mean you install things in uh, gallery? Install install art pieces in galleries or homes or what? Most uh, mostly people's houses. Okay. Um, the wall is over there. Um, it's Paul Gubbins. Do you, do you know Paul Gubbins? Do you remember me, Dave Southwick? Um, we, we spent time in Savannah together. We spent time in New York City together. I don't mean to sound uh, romantic. Like? <laughs> um, I look... Uh, he looks... Uh, I've never been asked that before. <laughs> um, what do you look like, uh, Paul? I, mean, I remember your name, but I can't I play the face. I look like... Um, Who would you have been in Savannah with? Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> Not I was really. in Savannah with Steve. Well, obviously, but who would you? Have okay, been um, he was in Savannah? Savannah with me. Okay, when during St. Patrick's Day, um, Paul was playing um, songs on his guitar and singing them. Oh, and I when, totally and when, yeah, yeah, when we were in New York, and, and you had your beer confiscated by the police. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that wasn't me, was it? <laughs> well, I think it was. I don't think so. I don't know what you're talking about, Paul. 
<laughs> weren't we all when we were, we went to the World Trade Center in the middle of the night, like at two in the morning? You and me and oh, yeah. and Jim Yates and I oh yes, yeah. with, with a beer and uh, and he and he was drinking a beer out of a paper bag in a park, <laughs> and the police came along and yeah, confiscated it. Yeah. <laughs> And it was we were like oh, we were thank just you for calling me and reminding me of that. <laughs> <laughs> we were all wandering around the World Trade Center like at two o'clock in the morning, and all the guards were looking at us <laughs> suspiciously, but nobody stopped us. <laughs> we we're actually in Battery Park, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, we were down there where um, uh, we and, and Mike used to go down there, where there was like that just like little trail, park trail thing, whatever that crap is. Yeah. So, did you get your master's degree, Dave, recently? Are you done with yeah. school? You're done. Yep. Awesome. Are you in the FBI? Yep. <laughs> CIA or something? Am I, am I Didn't you, weren't you thinking about joining, like, uh, the CIA or the FBI or something? Oh, the CIA yeah, I've lied. Oh. Never heard back, so. <laughs> oh, so that was a lie? No, you never heard back from them, he said. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so you did apply. Yeah, I did. Are we wow. on the same frequency? <laughs> <laughs> wow. We're all on the same frequency. Um, well, it's hard for 24 us kilobytes. to hear because Paul's, Paul's the, uh, the, the, he's got the headphones and we have to strain to hear. Well, he's listening, they're listening um, to the studio monitors. I can turn them up. Right. So, so Dave, you can access the show. You can actually download it. Um, you can go to www.rockmessiah.com and listen to the show when you get home. Um, okay. Can you can you do that on your computer? What, night, what um what days or times is it on? If there is it to, it's totally random. This is our second <laughs> live streaming show. Right now we're streaming live on the internet to a host of listeners, and um, one or two. One or two. And yesterday was our first live show. But out of five. Um, pre-recorded shows that we've put up we've had well over a hundred hits people are going crazy i'm getting emails from this one guy in canada named eric who i wish would email me again <laughs> and we um scott today oh oh uh, i'd like to introduce you our friend scott bishop who's in the studio nice to meet you oh okay <laughs> um, so dave we hear that you're an expert <laughs> This uh, never works, Paul. <laughs> we hear that you're an expert, Dave. Okay. Do you have a stance? Do you have a stance? <laughs> what is your position? Uh, several. I have several stances. <laughs> what is your stance with a gun? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a complicated stance involving... A request for the initiate the reinstation of slingshot. <laughs> is your stance in your stance? Are your feet shoulder width apart? My feet are slightly beyond shoulder width apart, and I am also looking askance in my stance. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, so get on with it, Dave. What's your question? Uh, we have with us Dave no from <laughs> Philadelphia to New York, and uh, yep. thank you for calling. All right. And uh, what is your question for Scott Bishop? <laughs> oh, I have to have a question. Um, well, you. That's why uh, you called, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Uh, if you're He's just like joining us, show. if you're just joining us, which is now possible <laughs> since we're live streaming, do we have Dave from. New York on the phone, and he, he called with a question for Scott Bishop. What is your question? Wait, I thought, I thought, wasn't I the expert a minute ago? <laughs> well, I, I'm the other expert. Oh, You're also our embedded reporter. Um, oh, that music. I have stances. That music means <laughs> we're running long in this segment. No. Oh, no, okay, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> It just means we're gonna have we're gonna play some background music Dave while we talk. Some, Dave has some incredibly interesting stories. I think it'd be a shame to the waste music. this segment. Um, okay, With Dave. The music okay. by the Rock and Roll Patrol. Dave, do you want to tell us that uh, the story about the lady who was banging on your door while Chris Dickens was visiting? Oh, um, Randall, <laughs> Uh, Chris Dickens was visiting you in New York, 
and some crazy lady was banging on the door. Oh, just the other day, yeah. Like a week ago. Yeah, could you tell us that story? So, Chris, uh, Chris was staying there. Um, and what was oh, it? Chris right. took a yeah, shower? So Chris took a Chris took and took a shower, but he was in there for like an insane amount of time. I don't know what he was doing in there. And um, and so he's in there, and then as soon as he like starts to get out of the shower, I hear um, this person barging up the stairs, yelling about how her bathroom is flooded because Chris Dickin was in the shower for far too long, and the water felt like flooded through my apartment down to hers. And so... We just looked at each other, sort of scared. Chris was actually still in his towel. I wish I was hoping at this point he would put something on, but he was still wandering around in his towel. <laughs> and then I was like looking through the peephole, trying to figure out what was going on. But, but, of the but, bathroom or yeah. the d- front door? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't phrase that right. <laughs> No, Chris was actually out of the bathroom, wandering around my apartment in his towel. So I didn't actually need to look to a people for that. So I'm looking out the fit, uh, front door, and this woman is yelling at us, and I'm far too scared to actually open the door. So I kind of just sat there for about 20 minutes while she yelled and yelled and yelled some more. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, then, then she stopped yelling, and then we left. <laughs> then, but, then she kind of chased Chris down the hall, or was he exaggerating? Well, Chris, um, we were a little he scared to walk past her door, so Chris um, snuck down the stairs, and I ran. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I, <clears throat> I also wonder if you could tell us... Uh, um, oh, oh, if you could tell us the Picasso story... The, that's one of my favorite stories of yours, the one with the Picasso painting. What story was this? You, when you were when you were working as an art handler. You just ask everybody to tell stories <laughs> that you finished. The uh, remember that one time? <laughs> and I correct your stories and <laughs> edit them. Well, okay, to add an interesting an interesting note to the story you just told, told Dave Southwick. Um, <laughs> Uh, Chris Dickens, for the past three years, has has taken showers upstairs in my house, <laughs> and not once did that happen here. Uh, I know it's strange. Dave, Chris um, was actually one of our first guests on the show. He's been in town, actually. He's in town. Yeah, he's he. Well, he's in our town, not your town. <laughs> 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 yeah, I spoke to Chris on the phone uh, like two days ago. Okay. Huh. What a tangled web we weave. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> hey, Paul, you have a very good radio voice. Do I? I, I get it from my yeah. Uncle Rodney. <laughs> yeah, it's really... Um, the real? Like, the real one? The real Rodney? The real Rodney Russell. <laughs> he was on our show yesterday. He's a washed up DJ. <laughs> Um, Dave, I think that the story that Sue was referring to was when you had to move a Picasso from one place to another and you were hiding it because you were embarrassed and you didn't want anyone to think it was your own painting. Is that true? Oh, yeah, that's true. And in fact, that's about all the story there is, I think. <laughs> right. But uh, yes, that, that did actually occur. I forgot all about that. Yeah. This is like, these aren't even my stories anymore. <laughs> no, now they're Steve's, apparently. You're actually one of my favorite people to tell stories about. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Um, So, uh, would you like to sing a song? Um, We can play some music, and you you could make up a song. Would you like that? Okay, but I'm gonna do it quietly because a lot of people just got on, and I'm a little embarrassed. You just shouldn't be. You shouldn't (laughs) sing on the Jersey Transit. (laughs) Okay, that's. uh, Wait. Can you hear the music? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start playing a little tune. You just jump in whenever you're ready. Um. <laughs> Wait, keep one. Keep one. <laughs> rolling, 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 rolling down the track. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Where can I find some sack? Look and cook. Look 
Oh, I've got plenty of books. Rolling down the track. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was the single best moment on the show. Yeah. That was the first time anybody has ever actually <laughs> sang in that bit. You know, uh, Dave. This is one of my favorite Dave stories, and and this is a great time to tell it. Dave actually tried out for. Or he, or he, he, he actually tried to audition for a boy band, right? Oh, I sort of, but I, um, I ended up pretending to be a reporter and interviewing them for a fake <laughs> online news magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you pretended to be like a, like a, you know, a press guy, so that you could. Yeah, I was trying, and, um, like, at, at first, I initially set out to uh, join a boy band, but then I realized that it was not what I was going to do it because I was, like, five or six years older than everyone else who was there. <laughs> and then, so, then my next idea was to run to the uh, Dwayne Reed and get a pad and pencil and pretend to be a reporter for an online music. <laughs> and were you by yourself the whole time you were doing this? Yeah. Yeah, it was at, like, 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> wow. And then so, like, um, my plan was to record, because I had, like, I brought, like, a tape recorder, too. Yeah. So my plan was to try to record some of these future um, music stars onto yeah. my um, little tape recorder, and then I could make a song where they would be singing. <laughs> <in a way. laughs> Actually, that's what I'm talking. <laughs> so what, what band did it turn out being? Like, was it O-Town or something? No, this was this was the one um, after O Town and after the next one that was actually just all girls. This next one, mm. this was like the third one. I don't think it, I'm not even sure if it ever aired because I don't know what came of that one. Hmm. I want to know what you asked them, Dave. What questions did you ask? Oh, I had I only had like two or three. Um, I can't even. I, um, let me think. They weren't terribly provocative. <laughs> did did you discriminate uh, about who you interviewed, or did you just randomly like? Did you look for people? I looked who, for people who looked like they would talk to me. Oh, I see. Because a lot of people were really sort of like some people were like nervous, chatty, and other people were nervous, non-talkative. <laughs> so I tried to find the people who would talk. So what did you ask them? Um, I don't really remember. Um, I think I just, like, I remember I did try to get them to phrase their answers in, like, a home. Because <laughs> 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 that's a little more musical. That's clever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are, um, we're actually, we're coming up on our one hour time limit, which I'm starting to impose on ourselves. Okay. Because it, um, All right. the show gets terribly lame in the second hour, which we found out last night. <laughs> <laughs> so now this time, this music is really going to mean something. You can visit, uh, you can, you can actually view some of Dave Southwick's artwork, which by the way, Dave, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed by your new art, um, on the, uh, uh, you see, I just put, um, my uh, news. I put some new stuff online uh, yesterday. Oh yeah, but you can view that on uh, gallery gallery dot com. the hippest uh, portfolio website on the internet. Um, and it's free. That is. Can you view your artwork anywhere else, Dave? Okay. Um, <laughs> can you can you view your artwork anywhere else besides Gallergy? Oh. Um, Yes, at uh, davidsouthwick.com. DavidSouthwick.com. Hey, yeah. David, did you know that I created Gallergy? Um, I I recall something like that. Yeah. Well, Chris Dickens and I, he, I create, I I I programmed Gallergy, and and Chris made it look orange. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was wondering who made it look so boring. Dave, Dave, can we um? Oh man, I would love to d ask Dave some questions about his art. <laughs> yeah, well, Maybe we can save that for another show. Another, another show, another time, okay. another world, another blind man <laughs> kicking at my knee. <laughs> Dave, what time will you be home tomorrow? Or yeah, what? 
What time will you be available tomorrow? Um, um, anytime. Okay. Make sure you listen to it tonight, Dave. Well, I don't know if I'll have it up. I'll have yesterday's show is just becoming available. There's a backlog. Okay, that music seriously means that it's time to go. Bye, Dave. Bye, Bye. Dave. Thanks for Bye. calling in. That's it for tonight. The Paul Govan Show from the Basement with special guest host Scott Bishop. Yep. Steven Cefalo. Hello. I mean, goodbye. And this is me. Welcome to the second hour of the Paul Gubbins show from the basement. Is this another sh- headphones? No, this is this is the second hour. It's uh, on the same episode. I did not open a new Samplitude project. I have to switch these pieces of tape because Chris and Steve t- we have with us. Um, I don't feel like I'm on the air because I don't have headphones and I don't hear well, I don't through speakers of any kind. If you chuckle uh, over um, coffee, it, it uh, <laughs> produces half the effect. There, there. Just chuckle over. Hey, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> you can be on the speakers. Oh, great. <laughs> um, we have with us uh, in the second hour a new guest, Hello. Chris Dixon. You can check out his website at <laughs> www.christopherdixon.com. He's from Alaska. <laughs> Hello. David Southwick said I had a good radio voice. I'm sure. Yeah. That's all right. I think we all have good radio voices. Uh, I don't know about Steve here on the I don't thing. think Heath does. Okay, everybody quiet. <laughs> and I'm not just retaliating. <laughs> <laughs> everybody quiet except for Steve. Hello. Welcome to the... I mean, uh, I'm pleased to be here okay. on the program. Okay, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that loud creaking noise. Hello. Okay. Hello, I'm Thanks. pleased to be here in the studio. Can I can't hear, hear Steve through the speakers. Well, uh, so. You get too many people through the speakers and you start getting feedback. Hmm. Hello. It sounds like a lot. I think it's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I control everything from over here. Second hour of the show. In studio, Steve Cefalo. I'm, uh, what do I... <laughs> I'm usually good at this. I'm pleased. I'm happy to... What do I say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, well, this it's great to be here, Paul. Okay. We have Steve Cefalo on an <clears throat> sure microphone, SM57. A good mic. It's great to be here, Paul. We have Chris Dickens on a vintage SM55. Not to be confused with Christopher Dickin- Dixon. <laughs> what? <laughs> we have Scott Bishop on an SM58. Hello. Each with their own sound quality. Is that my yeah. SM58? No, yours you took with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Paul Gubbins, I, and I'm on um, some buyer's brand SM58 knockoff. <laughs> Stolen from Swank Audiovisual, <laughs> <laughs> along with the rest of my equipment. So, um, 
So we just had uh, we just featured Dave Southwick on the previous hour. Um, if you're just tuning in, you really should listen to that. I thought it was a great uh, moment. Actually, hey. if you're just tuning in, you should listen to this. <laughs> and actually, somebody did just tune <laughs> oh. in. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey. 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 <laughs> we can't all do that at once. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes crazy. I think uh, that's why I need more than one meter. <laughs> and then, okay, if you're gonna make loud, crazy noises, back off from the microphone. Let's have let's learn a little bit of microphone. Phone etiquette, Hello. okay. I mean, you okay. Don't back off. Hello, <laughs> that's, that's what you don't do. Okay. Okay, if you're gonna be loud, get back here and be loud. If you're gonna be quiet, get right into the microphone and be quiet. So, how many listeners do we have? Currently? Okay, let's count them up one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello, listener. Uh, I can't believe call it. Call us at four. 812. Wait, let me start over. <laughs> Call us at 812-423-9364. For our German listeners, that is 812 So if you have any questions or comments concerning anything, um, then give us a call. For our right? sp- Spanish listeners, that's... Ocho. I can only count to six in Spanish. <laughs> Ocho, uno, Siete. dos. Ocho, uno, dos. Ocho? It's uno. What? <laughs> it's Ocho. Oh, okay. I know. You're okay. starting at one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, you read it in Spanish, now translate it to German as we're going. Okay. <laughs> I don't... Okay, here, okay, here. here. Okay. Here. Okay, the number is... I mean, el nombre es uh, es uh, ocho uno dos Acht, eins, cuatro <laughs> dos tres fear uh, wait okay nueve ah <laughs> <laughs> what I I just I started I started thinking in Spanish <laughs> tres uh, seis. Sex. <laughs> Cuatro. Okay. And we just lost our listener. <laughs> no, he's still on. Oh. He's still on. Thank uh, you, hello. faithful listener. Um, if, uh, call especially if you don't know us. If you're not our friend. Not or, a chance. Or my father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. Um. Should we call somebody? Yeah, I think we should. Uh, okay. Okay. A number um, here we could call. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, uh, local? <laughs> is it local? <laughs> it is not. Do you need a local number? No, I, I can do it. Okay. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> biographical information on our studio guests, maybe. Uh, Chris Dickens um, is, uh, currently lives in... Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Where I'm a professional guy. Okay, it's a professional guy. And he lives with um, the members of the it goes away. popular rock band Squad 5 0. Um, Maybe we in, should do this with a piece of paper. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hey, where, where's that piece of paper? He's a. a piece of paper. He was the drummer for the original. Um, version of Rock and Roll Patrol. Um, the uh, he, he was a guitar player for the um, punk music sensation Flimsy. Uh, Flimsy and um, Blaster the Rocket Boy. Okay. In the, in the is that four four seven? Okay, I got it. Yes. Um, <coughs> I know a lot less and about Scott Bishop, but I was um, in briefly in a band with him for one for day, a day, of which uh, I don't remember. Which I do remember. And uh, what was this band called? There was no name. It was me, Scott Bishop, um, Natalie Luttrell, and maybe Kyle Kellogg. Huh. Basically, just <laughs> doodled around and threw our hands in the air and said, "I don't know what we're gonna do." Um, Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> 41. So who are we calling? This is Mendy Taylor. She lives in Chicago, Illinois. 
It might be who's listening. I don't know. Do you guys hear it ringing? Yes. And so what does she do in Chicago? Hello? Mindy? Yeah? Hey, we're calling you from the radio show, the Paul Gubbins Show in the basement. Welcome to the broadcast, man. Welcome to Hello. the Shapro... Bro- <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Shapro... <laughs> Hi. How's what was your question, okay. Mindy? What was your question? Mindy? We have with us, Chicago? we have Mindy, Mindy, hello, Mindy from Chicago. Thank you for calling in to the Paul Gubbins Show. What is your question? <laughs> is this real? It is. Yes, we, we have... We have an expert panel, a panel of experts, here to answer your question. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it? Is this... What is what? it? This is, <laughs> <laughs> you're, on, you're on the air, and uh, you, you have had a question? question? Or, for okay, well, <laughs> my, I can hear myself. Like, every time I talk, I can hear myself. Back. That's that's really? perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> Most people do a diagnosis. Or <laughs> if you could turn your polarity to three. Okay. Well. Uh, are, are you listening on the radio right now? I mean, on the internet. No, I'm not on the internet. Oh, because we do have a listener. I'm just wondering if it was you. <laughs> <laughs> we were calling. We've been calling everybody in America. <laughs> Trying to figure out who's listening. Uh, how come you told me I wasn't going to be on the radio show? What? Oh, well, I talked them into doing another segment. I didn't, you don't really need oh. to do that. You don't have to eat the microphone, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I did. I can only hear myself when I'm really You talking. don't need to hear yourself. I like to hear your myself. Your ears are connected to right, your mouth. Fine. I I thought maybe you, it was like a psychological thing. Like, you tell me I'm not going to be on it and call me and surprise me. Um, no, we just decided to do another segment. Uh, okay, cool. We're not on a real strict schedule around here. And by we, I mean well, Paul. <laughs> yeah. So, Can Mindy. Any um, questions for me? Um, you and Chris seem to be friends. Did you meet? Yeah, uh, yeah. How, how did you meet Chris? I met him in Seattle, uh, in my apartment, in the university district. We were watching Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Was he taking a shower at any time? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if he, he ever dead. is in your apartment and takes a shower, <laughs> make sure the shower he puts the shower curtain <laughs> inside the tub because he has he has a problem. I do have a problem. Actually, I think so. I saw him when I was even younger, like uh, um, at a festival. <laughs> a vegetable? <laughs> what? I think the term is fruit. At a festival. At a, <laughs> at a, like a, at a big at cornerstone festival. Oh. At cornerstone. That's where I met you, you think? Well, no, I saw you there. You had um, oh, you just saw black it. hair and crystal yeah. blue eyes, and you rode a bike for a uh, that would be me. Yeah, I remember that year. And Jonathan, my friend Jonathan borrowed your bike once, and then I, I kind of met you briefly. Oh, yeah, Jonathan did borrow my bike. He brought it back, too. That's Jonathan yeah. from, uh, what band's he in now? What's it called? Um, Chase Manning? Something like that. But um, he was an unwed one sailor. Of, and some one of those crazy, stupid bands where they name it just one guy's name. Right, and then you're confused if it's a guy or a band yeah. your whole life. And then some music stuff corrects you about it later. Where are you from originally, Mindy? Um, I'm, I grew up in Chicago. Okay. And I still, I live in Chicago now. Okay. I once but lived I in the Chicago area. I lived in Seattle and Minneapolis and, Minneapolis and, I, and Romania. Hmm. And uh, now I'm back here in Chicago. Cool. <laughs> Yeah. So, so what are you doing in Chicago? I teach second grade, and I go running and I play the guitar. Oh, I meant right at this know. at this moment. What are you doing in Chicago? Like right now, this second. This is getting kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm laying in my bed. Oh, oh. <laughs> and that music means. <laughs> Rocking the Messiah. <laughs> I think this has ceased to be a family show. (laughs) (laughs) We haven't lost her. (laughs) Okay, so so (laughs) so you had a a question for us. I do. (laughs) Isn't that why you called? No, I didn't call. You guys called me. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Not true. All right, let's move along, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, if you're just joining us, this is the Paul Gubbins Show from the basement. Um, Live and streaming 24-bit audio, the simulcast from rockmessiah.com. We have with us in the studio. We have we have Stephen Safalo. It's great to be here, Paul. We have Christopher Dickens. Thank you. And we have Scott Bishop. Yo. And on the phone we have Mindy from Chicago. Hello, Mindy. Hey, how are you? Welcome to the program. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Mindy, uh, there is a plan that that you and some friends are going to make Thanksgiving dinner this year for John Barry and I. Uh, yeah. Do you have any... Down, is this going to be a traditional yeah. meal? Yeah, it's going to be very traditional. Except we're going to... Uh, I don't know. Kill the turkey. You're going to what? You're going to kill the turkey? <laughs> <laughs> Peel the turkey? We're going to eat it alive. Oh, no. <laughs> I just find this fascinating because I don't even know what I'm doing like in an hour, but I have a plan for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's going to be pretty traditional. That's good, I guess. I like the regular yeah. food. It's fine. We we want to be maybe in New Orleans, and if we can't be there, we'll be in Philadelphia. But New Orleans sounds really fun. Yeah, it sounds all right. I've never been there. Are you in a band, Mindy? No, I'm not in a band. I have a CD write, of yours. Yeah, I write music, and I, I wrote some songs and had some friends help me, like, put other... Isn't that a band? <laughs> <laughs> are you, um, Mindy, well, are you pretentious? Yeah? Are you pretentious? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> I mean, am I, am I pretentious, Chris? No, I would not call you that ever. Okay. Yeah, I'm a very nice, uh, humble person. <laughs> Are you precocious? Precocious? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> do you have any idea what we should talk about? <laughs> um... Do you want to sing a song? Oh, this is a bit where we um, we play music and our caller makes up a song. Okay. Um, let's, move, let's get the levels here. Okay, okay, Mindy, can you can you hear the keyboard? So uh, you okay. say you're a songwriter. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm not. I'm not a rapper. <laughs> okay, now is now is your. Dance oh, time to team. That might have been the best one yet. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's was pretty good. You gotta hear Dave. Well, I haven't heard any other ones. <laughs> uh, I'd say that was the second best one so far. Hmm. Have I been on the radio the whole time? Yes. Like, even when I said I was rocking the Messiah? Yes. 
the uh, entire time we've been talking to you, you've been <laughs> on the quote-unquote radio. And um, not only are we broadcasting live over the information superhighway, each and every episode of the Paul Gubbins Show from the basement is archived at the Smithsonian-sponsored Internet Archive at archive.org. Um, how many listeners do we have now, Paul? One. <laughs> and I will give you their IP address. Hackers, alert. 24, 112, 146, 148. Oh wait! I think that in that my my brother's IP address where I was signed on before I left. <laughs> I think it's me. I think I'm the listener. Oh, uh, might be. <laughs> no, wait, no, that ended in thirty-five. Yeah, that's true. I think it's my father's, and he'll close out here in a second because he's paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys smoke weed? What? No. Oh, yeah. This is a family program. <laughs> <laughs> this is the um, the most... This is the raciest? <laughs> the most raciest. Rabious? <laughs> what? We are Wait, not regulated. Although we are not regulated by the FCC, <laughs> it does not mean that you can just go crazy, Mindy, and do what you want, and say what you want, and act like a fool. <laughs> We would appreciate if you cleaned up your act a little bit. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> so, um, well. Do you guys think that uh, there's been a civil war brewing in the United States for 20 years? John Titor thinks that. John Titor from the future? Yeah. Did you know about uh, John Titor? We have a topic! Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, hey, this is the hey. first time. <laughs> four no. shows. Four shows have gone by, and we finally came up with a topic. <laughs> Congratulations. I think we need some music. Hallelujah. Holy shit. <laughs> I think we need, like, a song to celebrate this. Uh, okay, let's... We have a topic. <laughs> we have a topic. <laughs> so, so what is our topic again? I don't know. <laughs> Now, what's the topic? The topic for this segment of the show <laughs> is John Titor yeah, from the word. future. Google it. Oh. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. How do you spell that? T I T O R G A. Mindy, have you heard of John Titor? No, the time traveler. Heard. Yes, the time traveler. John Titor. I didn't hear her answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Over. <laughs> no, no, I've never heard of him. Oh, he's from the future, and he says that there is a an American Civil War, like, in the future. As yeah. in 2005. In 2005, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm ready. <laughs> Which uh, side are you on? Cheaperthandirt.com Cheaperthandirt.com? Yeah. Hmm, uh, we're looking at it in a second, I think. <laughs> Huh? Um, cheaper than dirt dot <laughs> com. Oh wait. What? What? What wait, were you asking? We I'm not. I'm not near a computer right now. Should I go get near one? No, we 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 got it covered. <laughs> so oh, we have yeah. several computers can I, and. <laughs> can I call you guys back on a different phone? Because I I can still hear myself. You're still gonna hear yourself no matter what. Where you're at? <laughs> are, you, are you on a cell phone? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you might want to see a doctor. <laughs> I don't know. Um, do you want to call us back from a landline? Yeah. Niner. <laughs> do you know the number? No. It's 812. Should I just call your phone, Chris? No, it won't work. You won't be on the air. 812. 423. Okay. 9364. That's Niner. Okay, uh, I'll call you. Niner, right Threether, Sixer, Fourfer. <laughs> All right, yeah, call us back. Okay, bye. Wait, hold on, Mindy? Yeah? Do you do you understand German? Um, no, not really. The number is 812 <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> I just hung up on someone. Oh man. Well. Okay, we have no email. Oh. 
Okay, wait, well, we do have the John Titer Time Traveler webpage up. Is there anything you would like to uh, oh. research at this time? Well, what does he say about the well, Civil War? Oh, I forgot that we he were. Says, uh, um, he says had a topic. <laughs> <laughs> so does, is, does he? I, I know nothing about this, this okay. guy. So does he claim to actually be from the future? Yeah, but he's back now in the future. He's no longer here with us. But there are a lot of his well, writings here. Uh, on the internet. So when did he die? He did not die. Oh. He <laughs> left the present. Oh, went so back to the future. Wow. Yeah, he came. He he showed up. He was um, going back to, um, like, the 70s to pick up a certain IBM computer that he needed because there's a problem with Unix that shows up, like, in 2000... What year was it? 2023? Well, something like that. And he's dead serious. Well, he came back and, and he posted... <laughs> he, um, he Okay, he showed no, up that. from the future. He posted on some forums <laughs> while he was here. And then he disappeared. He stayed with his parents. <clears throat> So does he have any? Does he uh, have any convincing? You know, Steve, uh, you have a microphone for a reason. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, does, he, does he have any convincing? Um, There's some pictures of his that... time machine. Yeah. Um, well, does he have any pictures of the future <coughs> or oh, the past? Here we go. Do you want to see a picture? Of the... Oh, it's not. Uh, can I even make a suggestion? What is it? Uh, okay. Hello, welcome to the program. <laughs> Thank you. This is Cindy again. <laughs> Sorry I hung up on you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, after shouting at you in German. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> the most degrading way to on somebody. <laughs> this is so much better. I can hear you guys. Oh, that's good. We can't hear a word you're saying, but... Hello? Are you serious? No, we hear you fine. <laughs> so what is the... Uh, I have a suggestion for the show. Yeah. Um, I think we should go to the website that Mindy is talking about and compare it with the John Titer... Uh, Civil War. Problem with the John Titer website, when you log on to the John Titer website, there are about seven different scroll bars on the screen. I don't John see that as a Titer? problem. John Titer? Is that look like T-I-T-E-R or John? O-R. T-I-T-O-R. Let's say it all together. T-I-T-O-R. Titer. How many of there are you guys? There are nine of us. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us on the second hour of the Paul Gubbins Show from the basement, we have from left to right in the studio, we have Scott M. Bishop, Hello. graphic designer with the Evansville Courier. We have um, Christopher Dickens. It's great to be here, Paul. Unemployed. I was going to say <laughs> We have Stephen Cefalo, um, uh, art professor at the University of Cincinnati. That's right. And Paul Gubbins, world-renowned radio talk show host, I, <laughs> and Mindy from Chicago. Hello, Mindy. <laughs> so fill me in on this. I'm... Br- <laughs> this is, this is, this is, what does that this mean? Is, this is brand new to me. Uh, this John Titer thing. Um, so fill me in on this. Uh, okay. Fill, fill, uh, any, uh, you know, audience people, like, including one person uh, who, who also uh, may not know about this fellow. So he's from the future, or he's, he's in the future now, right? Okay. That is correct. Let's talk about the future a little. Okay, he came back, posted on some forums, said some cryptic things, talked a little bit about the future, and he just stopped here on his way. He was in a time machine made by GE. And it was a military device, and it was pretty common in the future. And um, he, one of the things he said is starting in 2005. So he, he came, well, he was originally from the future, right? Yes. Okay. It, there would be civil war starting in 2005. Basically, the cities, city versus country. Okay. And, um... Mindy, does that sound anything like the, uh, the civil war that you're talking about? The uh, city versus the country? Yeah. Well, we're in 2000. Okay, what's the name of the website you're talking about? Well, no, no, no. Uh, Keeper than Dirt is just for supplies for the Civil War. If you want to, if you're interested in, in being involved. Like weapons? Yeah. Wow. What kind of weapons? <laughs> <laughs> like Civil um, War weapons? Guns and nu- like bombs and stuff like that. John Titer was in a shotgun. Um, Group, they had shotguns, and he fought for the side of the country, which is a side that won with Russia's help. Russia came over and helped the countryside, 
Yeah. And they won. So when in 2005 so, is it supposed to start? Pretty soon. It goes on for like seven years or something. Yeah, it, I can. I'm reading it right now. I I was hearing more of a civil war because of the war in Iraq, and then everybody here being against it, and then we get in a fight with each other, and then everything just goes to hell. John Tider talked about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Oh, he, he said did? some cryptic things like about. Um, he just said some things that, about like how it was just trumped up and they're not really there. And this was like in 1999, 2000. Like it was, it was before. He, he was talking about the 2000 election and the 2004 election and the 2004 election being really, but it wasn't as disputed as. Uh, it was during the 2000 election that he was posting because he talked about the election sum. So I, I think this talk show already exists. It comes on at about <laughs> 11 <of> p.m. <laughs> by the name of Art Bell. <laughs> could, could John Titer tell us um, <laughs> what the future of the, right, of the uh, show in the basement will be? Well, we could call <laughs> him. We'll have another topic. <laughs> Can we get John Titer on the air? <laughs> uh, so how far in the future is he from? Uh, 20, 30 years. He came back. He's in the military. He's probably in his late 20s. He came back and stayed with his parents and he was a child so, uh, so he stayed like, with himself as a child huh. is that legal <laughs> 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 what is that <laughs> you mean he, he stayed he stayed like in his, like in himself no he came back himself? yeah he came back like knocked on his parents door and they were like boy you look familiar and he's like i'm your son all grown up from the future and they're like <laughs> Tell us what happened with that rug, and he was like, uh, "You know, whatever happened with it." And then they let him in the house. Well, this, that, there was a movie called I Back to the know Future Two. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so uh, okay, uh, I had a question. Um, Okay, so um, okay, so how does he enter? Like, where does he come back into? Like, when he comes back here in our time, like, does he just? He's got just like appear? a well, He's got like a '57 Chevy. Okay. Uh -huh. And he's, uh, it's not a 57 Chevy. I mean, all the details are wrong. The DeLorean? It's not a DeLorean, but it's some <laughs> classic car that's been, that's like in the future, it's restored. You know what I mean? Like some classic type of car. You put the time machine in the car. It's about the size of a large ammo case, I've been told. And, um, and then he, he, he goes 88 miles per hour or something like that. And he shows up in our time. And he sold the car, bought a, um, like a Bronco, drove it back to the future. So I guess he put the it. device in the Bronco. Yes. So did the so did the car just appear? I think so. Like in oh. a in a barn or something. Does <laughs> does the uh, does the ammo case have a flux capacitor? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Flex. Mindy, you had a question. No, I just said I I don't believe it. Yeah, I, I you know. I believed it until I got to the car part. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to believe this. I think this is great. <laughs> um, but I just... Uh, I want to see some photographs or something. Uh, like, uh, does he dress futuristically? <laughs> I, no. I, I, he just, you know, posted to forums. He didn't really put pictures of himself. I think he knew what he was doing, you know. He didn't, like, show up with his foil suit on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they know that foil causes al Alzheimer's disease in the future? <laughs> okay, topic number two. Yeah. You were talking about aspartame causing Alzheimer's. I was? You were, Chris Dickens. It causes something. I don't know what it But causes. they also say aluminum causes Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can see, if you think about it, how in studies they might get aluminum and aspartame confused. Because the person with a high level of aspartame might also have a high level of aluminum from drinking so much Diet Coke out of aluminum cans. Huh. So it's probably one or the other. I'm they, totally screwed. <laughs> I drink so much Diet Coke out of a can. You should switch to Diet Right out of the plastic bottle. Cause then you the really plastic the bottles are carcinogenic, though. <laughs> I love Diet Coke out of a can. You should only drink I, Cokes from McDonald's. Yeah, I love them from McDonald's, too. They are good from McDonald's. The Diet Cokes? That's what I hear. But I do, I do agree. Sodas out of cans. I, I guess it's the aluminum. 
it just tastes much better. <laughs> I think it's pretty much genetic because they used to say that um, deodorant gave women cancer, like or men too, I guess, but because of the aluminum and deodorant. But that's a total myth. It's not even true. Who disproved that one? <laughs> the Aluminum uh, Manufacturer Association? <laughs> no, I read it somewhere. Like, it's just not true. Well, I read somewhere that it is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't got cancer yet, so I think it's okay. Uh, it's a matter of time. <laughs> that's called the scientific method there. <laughs> the, si- the scientific method? <laughs> Myth. Bad. <laughs> little drums. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Comedy crap. all night here. <laughs> okay. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on over there? Why the so, Mindy, was... how how do you feel about Central Time? Central Time? Love it. Well, good. That's, that's my only question. We'll get some coffee. Okay. They probably were out. Oh. Yeah. There's like a... There's not enough coffee in this studio. <laughs> How can we chuckle over coffee if there's no coffee? <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, um, I don't have any questions for you guys. I'm trying to think of You've got a panel of experts at your disposal <laughs> here. I don't understand why you don't have any questions for it. Well, what was the last I, thing you were really curious about, you know? And you were like, I would really like to ask a panel of experts that. What about a fun fact? Uh, you have a fun fact for us? Or factoid. even like a um, not fun fact. <laughs> yeah, any fact, <laughs> really. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be factual. <laughs> Just something to kill the dead air. Or fun. <laughs> Over. Uh, I can't think of anything. I'm oh. sorry. I'm really tired. I just I went out for some years <laughs> and then I just got back from a wedding and I don't know. Did you have the beers at the wedding? After. Oh, after. Can you hear this? Can you hear yeah. this? You know what this is? What? It's the world's smallest violin. <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I don't have any questions. <laughs> and uh, so... Was that Christopher Dickens that did that? that no, that was Paul. Oh. Paul Gubbins. But that was stolen from the movie Reservoir Dogs. What is that? It's... it's violin on the Casio Tone MT-68. Sounds nothing <laughs> like a violin at all. <laughs> That's the world's dumbest violin. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Um, are we done with this caller? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to follow up on Dave Southwick? We could. Yeah, I think they're it. getting rid of you, Mindy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, Thanks uh, for... Okay. Sorry, Mindy, but, but that music means that we're running long in this segment. You have to go to a hard break. <laughs> Any last words? No, I'm f- I'm out. Okay, over and out. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I already hung up. <laughs> I love that hanging up. I used to have a hard time with it. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, if you're just joining us. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, so, uh, are we on the air now? We're still on the okay. air. Uh, oh, so- I have a theme song for calling people. Okay. Oh, that's, I've got one. Are we going to call someone else? We're going to call Dave South. Yeah, let's right, follow yes. up on Dave South. But I've got to see where he is. He's current, or last time we called him, he was on the Jersey Transit. Singing uh, to the uh, fellow passengers. <laughs> uh, yeah, t- uh, traveling from Philadelphia to New York City. I would like to ask him why he didn't take the Chinatown bus that he recommended so highly to me mm. when I was traveling from Philadelphia to New York. Good question. I mean, you know, what's this guy trying to pull? So we told Chris, Chris we told the our uh, listener <laughs> uh, the story about you and Dave um, and you taking a shower mm-hmm. and a peephole and a banger and a chaser. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really awkward this is a family program. <laughs> Let's clean it up a little. <laughs> My past is not really any of their concern. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, yeah, I was staying at David Southwick's house in Harlem, and uh, what street does he live on? He lives on it's like around 116th Street or something like that. It's on the uh, 
would be on the east side. Okay. <clears throat> so, um... It's what they call Spanish Harlem. Yeah. Yeah. It's rare that you see Dave on the, uh, on the west side of Manhattan. I don't, I don't know why. I've never figured that out. <laughs> but, um, I was staying at, uh, David's apartment, his studio apartment. I took a shower, and he had told me that occasionally he gets water into the, uh, below apartment when he showers, and that a lady comes up and frightens him <laughs> by pounding on the door and uh, I, didn't really, I didn't really think much of it until I took a shower and when I came out the lady was there pounding on the door and calling us very various How names long and was the shower? Us. <laughs> the shower was uh, pretty short even uh, I'll see Dave says it was a long shower uh, Dave even told me it was a short shower I said you know no, that he shower. Said he <laughs> there for an extremely long time and then he was looking through David the keyhole is a notorious liar <laughs> he said he was looking through peeping through the keyhole <laughs> what he said no, he that was, was out into the hallway no. you guys are confusing all sorts of people. okay here's our um we're gonna, we got some music for this is music that we call people we have to play the music first so it's the music we I don't know why I don't think you have to introduce the music at all <laughs> Generally in radio. <laughs> okay, let's uh You guys can talk above it. Uh, well, okay, so so did she chase Well, I heard her open the door and I heard some footsteps. <laughs> I generally assumed she was chasing me and I didn't stop running for about a city block. In New York City. Do you, do you know uh, what? What did she look like? The Spanish Harlem City. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she looked like. I never got a good look at her. I just I envisioned a very large, very black, and very scary woman. <laughs> that wasn't a racist comment. <laughs> it was just an observation. <laughs> Actually, not an observation at all. <laughs> it was an auditory. <laughs> it was an auditory observation. Chris and I were just discussing audio tattoos upstairs. The possibility, maybe John Titor could tell us. Uh, right. In the future. I bet they have those. <laughs> You're able to get audio, audio tattoos. Um, I would love an audio tattoo. We're calling David Southwick. Doesn't sound like he's picking up. Did you take this long the first time? Yeah. It took, I called him the other day. It took him a while. Your call has been forwarded. Oh. <laughs> David Southwick. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Dave. Uh, hey, this is the show again. <laughs> Everybody introduce yourselves. This is Scott. Chris. Steve and Paul from the Paul Gubbins show in the basement. So uh, we were just wondering if you made it home. Yeah, we decided to do a second hour, um, and Chris Dickens is visiting, and but you've let us down. What did you press to? Okay, I'm gonna press one to get more options now. <laughs> if you're satisfied with the message, oh, well, I don't think we're satisfied with that message. Press two. We can do a little quicker. Press three. To continue recording where he left off. Press four. What did you okay. press? Well, I pressed four. Recording. At the end of your message, press one. Okay, now we're oh. still recording. Oh. <laughs> we'll continue recording on <laughs> on this. So we can just do this all night, really. Yeah, I think I'm gonna press five though to get a callback number to give him the callback number. Oh, do that. Okay, That's I'm gonna press idea. one first. If you're satisfied, with the message, you have pressed an incorrect key. Oh. oh. Uh. Message, press one. To so listen to the message, press two. Okay, let's listen to the message. Press three. Continue. Re message review. <laughs> hey, hey, this is the show again. Everybody introduce yourselves. Scott, Chris, Steve, and Paul. <laughs> so, uh, we were just wondering if you made it home. Yeah, we decided to do a second hour. Um, and Chris Dickens is the king, but let us. Down. What did you press to? Okay, I'm gonna press one to get the oh. Okay, now we're still oh. recording. Oh. <laughs> I'll continue recording on, on this. 
it's really lame. It's just all night. Yeah, I think I'm on five, though. Give him a call back. Give him a call back. Oh, see that. The worst okay. show ever. Satisfied with the message, press one. I'm satisfied. Press two. I'm okay with it. Okay. Four. To send your message with normal, really get a vote press there. one. <laughs> send your message with urgent delivery, press two. My urgent yeah, delivery. It's definitely urgent. <laughs> okay. Your message is in Wonder what happens. Wait, shh. <laughs> Oh, that was it. Okay. There's probably some. His pro phone probably just goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay like vibrating all over the place. <laughs> um, if we're gonna do a full second hour, we have 14 minutes left. I'd just like to say, in case Mindy's listening, let me uh, check. I'd just like to say, you know, we really enjoyed talking to her, and she was one of the better guests, and had one of the better songs on the radio. On the radio show. Um, uh, anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we ever. I think I just felt her. bad that we kind of hung up on her. <laughs> she our first. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't guest? say that. Is, it, is that true? Is she the first female? No, I, I talk to my sister all the time. On oh yeah, that's the, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, she is female. Well, uh, <laughs> she is the first female guest that is a, a that that Chris would be a potential suitor <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Dickens being the sole single swinging bachelor here. <laughs> is this the dating game? What is this? What the is dating. This is the Chris Chris Dickens trying to get him a date because uh, he's. I'm wearing my special rock and roll pants. <laughs> Steve called him yesterday. You know, um, we should do a prank. We should we should call a hot topic and stuff like that. Oh, you can get sued for that though. Can you? Can you well, get sued for saying hot According hot? to Andy Fuller's radio guy, even just calling people you can get sued for from a radio program. Hmm. But uh, we're not, you know, the FCC's not looking. Yeah, we're not regulated by right, the FCC. And I don't think you have any money That's to be true. sued. What you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call Hot Topic. I, it's, it's almost 11. Uh, are they awake? <laughs> did, I tell you when you, did I tell you about when I tried to do prank calls like you tried, like you did them? Except yeah. I called I called a big top, you know? Not a big top, but a big foot. <laughs> and, um, do you and, have any of my old prank calls on your computer? Nah. Uh, I've got them on a CD somewhere. Continue. But I, I called and some girl answered. And um, I tried to... Because I'm terrible at all these things. <laughs> and and I, I think I said, like... You paged, and she was like, "Who is this?" I was like, "You know who this <laughs> is." <laughs> and she started getting kind of freaked out, and I felt I started getting like flush. My face started turning red. I started getting started feeling hot. And it just got really creepy. Confessions of a stalker. And I felt terrible afterwards because I was like, "You know who this is." Kind of like how Scott was talking to Mindy. Right? <laughs> yeah, a lot like that. <laughs> What are you doing right now? Uh, I, I don't think, you know, I intended that. I think I just sort of stumbled into it. Nobody intends. <laughs> that Nobody happen. plans on becoming creepy. You know what's nice over here is I can, I, I can, I can mumble into the microphone. <laughs> and only the audience can hear me. <laughs> uh, How many minutes do we have left? <laughs> um, 11 minutes. Uh, who else can we call? We can call uh, my friend Christine, maybe. Or some other people. Why do we have to all call these single people chicks? Well, that's I didn't all know that she's Chris single. We can call. They don't. They, they. 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 None of them are single. They all think that they're Chris's <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> oh God. Um, we could call the clever porks. Ooh, you want to call them? It's getting yeah. kind of late. Oh yeah, it's true. We call uh, Mike. So, are you on the show anymore? We call why, Greg Salee. Why aren't you in your seat? Let's call, well, you think Greg Salee would do all right? Oh, yeah. Greg Let's call Greg. Greg. Is it local? It's local. Okay. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't read it to you, right? Well, Unless I do it, it in pig this, Latin. I right, can do it in pig right, Latin. Down this piece so, uh, <laughs> we're going to try to call Greg Salee. I've known Greg Salee since the third grade. Um, he's one of my first... Friends in the third grade, and uh, and uh, we actually in the seventh grade. Yeah, we made we made a we did a comic book together, um, and uh, we we actually uh, uh, practiced to be ninjas together, and uh, we tried to to uh, learn how to. Okay. Oh. Hello. 
Greg. Hello. Welcome to the program, Greg. Well, you're on the you're on the air live with the the Paul Govins show from the basement with special guest Stephen Cefalo, Christopher Dickens, Hello. Scott Bishop. Hello. Hello, Greg Slee. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Riding in a van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are you going? <laughs> Danville, Illinois. Four. <laughs> Ah, you don't have to disclose stay. all this. I stay in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Did we call the right number? <laughs> Is this an old man? <laughs> so, Greg, you work on the railroad. Yes. <laughs> we- <laughs> Um, okay, Greg, if you're just joining us, which you are, um, the Paul Gubbins Show from the Basement is a is a is a, a live streaming internet broadcast, a semi daily broadcast that is um, used to be pre recorded. Now it's streamed live and it's preserved forever in the Smithsonian sponsored Internet Archive. And just so you're aware of uh, what you're what you're what you're doing here, and, and we're we're glad you called. Hello, Greg from Danville. <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, Gr- uh, Greg, we've been doing this a bit on the show where we play music, and we get and you sing. Great. Um, Love the show. Can you hear the music? Did you hear it? Yeah. Okay, now you need to make up a song <laughs> as I play the keyboard. Love the show. You can start singing now. <laughs> Greg, do you understand what we're doing? <laughs> Greg? Yes. Do you know what you're supposed you're supposed to be singing a song? This is the segment of the show where you give us something to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for that? Um, not at the moment. <laughs> Did we call it a bad time? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Are you being forced to say this? <laughs> okay. I can't disclose anything. <laughs> <laughs> if um, if if you're in danger right now, <laughs> say green tomato. <laughs> I don't think he's in danger. <laughs> That was I can't disclose anything I know. <laughs> well, you're uh, one of the better guests we've had. <laughs> Maybe we should sing him a song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who's singing? This song's called Give Us Something to Work With, Greg. <laughs> Steve will start. <laughs> you give us something to work with. Give us something to work with, Greg. That wasn't bad. That's pretty nice. I was going to help you, but then I didn't. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Oh, since we got Chris here and we got Greg on the phone, let's try a five-part harmony. Okay. <laughs> Steve, you start. Uh, Greg, you come in next. Uh, <laughs> Greg? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Greg, could you please sing the fourth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll let Greg come in for fifth. Okay, you start. Uh, Chris? Uh, Scott? Uh, Let me do this. <laughs> I want my part to be <laughs> before the five part harmony commences. I give you guys a okay, hit it. 
<laughs> okay. okay. We're ready. Hit it, Greg. <laughs> okay, hit it. Oh, uh, man, that's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to come in one at a time again. Okay. Okay, okay hit it, Greg. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, boys, hit it. Uh, 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 <laughs> that was beautiful, really. Greg, do you realize this is live streaming audio? <laughs> Did you know about this show beforehand? Before we called you? It's my favorite radio show. Oh. Thank you. I mean... So what's your favorite radio station? Uh... <laughs> this one. <laughs> you can't really say that on this show, can you? I guess you could say rockmessiah.com. What should we call the radio station? What should it be called? Oh, like the W blah blah blah? Oh, it's not even W blah blah blah. It's just, uh, just anything. It can be called like... <coughs> I thought you had a name for Poop it. Poop Thudders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, call, call it the Heat. <laughs> the Heat. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Welcome to the Heat. <laughs> Today that we t- ironic because it's freezing down here. <laughs> Today we have with us in the heat studio. <laughs> we're, in we're, heat, we're in we a damp a fruit either. cellar. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're coming to you live from a damp fruit cellar. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can call it the heat. What about the damp? <laughs> I want the slowly rusting my soundboard away. It's <laughs> not a good name. <laughs> okay, Greg. The gig, the jig's up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, turn left. All turn right. left. <laughs> Make a left turn. All right, Greg. Let's uh, let's get let's move on here. What was your question? Um, the lines are popping. Uh, callers are uh, pops are lining. Calling. <laughs> things blinking. Uh, right. Your question. Uh, Caller. Yes. We got a panel of experts waiting here. You don't want to keep on waiting right. for long. Um, do you have a fact? Void. <laughs> a factoid. Doesn't have to a be a fun factual. fact. More fun. <laughs> mm, concerning. Show's pretty much hinging on you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> You're the last hope. <laughs> We've given up. <laughs> Okay, I, I I remember why you called me. <laughs> Go ahead. What is the temperature? Here or the just temperature in is you, well, it can be described as how it feels outside or wherever you're at at the moment. <laughs> so the temperature could be like um, Cleveland. <laughs> By that definition, yes. <yeah. laughs> Might have been the worst definition of anything ever. Why don't we pull up dictionary.com for Greg? The panel of experts is stumped. <laughs> Never heard of it. Um, I, I'm having problems here. Yeah, you can just go to ChristopherDickens.com. I just I can't do anything. Oh. No, thank you. Okay, that music. <laughs> Wait, I don't hear any music. Oh crap, we're almost out of time. <laughs> okay. What does that mean on this show? <laughs> that music means we are running out of time. Thank you, Greg Sleeve, for being our colleague. Thanks, Greg. Thanks. Do you have anything? Greg, why don't you say something here? Usually the callers say things over the music and it sounds really cool. Greg? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he is saying something. Oh, here. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's it for the, the Paul Gubbins from the Basement Show. We thank everybody that's here tonight. You're welcome. Come on. One last. Okay, well, that's it. Do it.